my god! Bellissima. Absolute savages. Hi guys, many hours later and we have finally arrived in Sorrento. We got into Napoli, probably, or oh, Naples, why am I saying Napoli? Like I'm already a true Italian, been here about five minutes. We got into Naples at what, like 12? Yeah. And then we had to get a bus and we had such a drama trying to even find the bus. There was like no signs or anything, but we made it in the nick of time and we got our bus here and our room is so pretty. I just want to show you it because I'm so happy with it. It's giving me strong Mamma Mia vibes with this blue wardrobe. Like I just, this really reminds me of Mamma Mia. And then we've got this and the TV and my favorite part is the bed. Look at that mural. It's actually so pretty. Like, I just love the blue theme. So very, very happy with that. We also have a balcony, which again, we didn't know if we were gonna have one of these. So very, very happy. And here's our view. Very, very pleased. This is called B&B La Palm. And it's kind of hidden away, but it's in such a good location, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's like, fun. It's, it's like two minutes from the train station, if that. And then this is the, ba the bathroom. Some fancy red tiles. Oh my God, the shower is massive. So yeah, gets a big thumbs up from me. What about you? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Woohoo. Hello, we have unpacked. Oh, why does it look so dark? There you go. We have unpacked our cases, put everything, tidied it away, made the room all tidy for now. I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay in that way. But yeah, I've just got changed, just put on this little skirt and top. And we're just gonna go for a little bit of an explore because I think we're in a really good location. So we just kind of wanna walk around and see, see what's about. And it's pretty hot today. It's like really humid, but gray skies. And to be honest, I'm starving as well. So I think I need to go and get something to eat. So guys, I wanted to show you something that impressed me <laughs> so much. Look what this has. I mean, you literally barely ever get these in the UK. I don't think I've even stayed in a hotel with one of these. And, uh, oh my God. <gasps> I just ran to throw away. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh my God, thank God it didn't hit the light. <laughs> anyway, guys, I was just showing you the power. As you can see, very powerful. Hi guys, back at the B&B now. We actually did a lot of walking, thinking about it. We walked around, got some food, and then we actually walked past one of the restaurants that we know we really wanted to go to, that we weren't able to book out online, and luckily managed to get a slot for our last night here. So it's gonna be really nice. I'm really glad that we stumbled across that because now we've got it booked. And then we saw another restaurant, which is really cute, which we might try and go to tonight. You can't book after 7.30, so who knows? gonna get a seat but things crossed so now i'm just kind of uh what's the word decompressing. <laughs> decompressing and i need to get ready so outfits of the night this is kind of redoing the first outfit that i wore first night of paris if you watch my paris vlog very similar but i'm wearing the white trousers from nasty girl which are wide leg and just so comfy and i just feel like they look really chic and then i've got this tie top which is from Kesala studio 
I think that's how you say it. I've had this for quite a while now and you literally just tie it however you want to tie it and I usually do this like halter neck vibe because I just think it's really flattering and really nice. See you there. One thing we have to say, cats here, absolute savages. We like cats. Generally, I like cats. I see a cat and I'm like, oh, you're cute. I want to say hi. The cats are completely unbothered by humans. They literally do not want to, they don't want to look at you. They don't want to be stroked by you. You try and get their attention. You're they in just, their way. They literally just look at you like, oh my God, get away from me. Like they literally don't care. This cat walked past, tried to get his attention, ignored us. We just saw somebody else try to stroke it and it fully went for her and tried to attack her. So um, yeah, don't come to Sorrento for the cats because they won't give you love and affection. They will just make you feel almost ashamed of yourself. <laughs> on our way home and then we came across this bar that we'd seen earlier on in the day and it had two singers that were literally there earlier when we walked past and they were still there this is like five hours later and there was just like a massive crowd around them and they were just really getting the crowd hyped up so we had loads of classic songs and music that reminded us how oh He's asleep. I'm not. <laughs> Loads of really good songs, good music. So we basically just stood there and had a drink and watched the music for like literally an hour and a half. It was just really good vibes. They kept being like, oh, it's our last song. And then they, the first time they said our last song, I'm pretty sure they did about 10 songs after that. Yeah, <laughs> and they literally just kept being like, it's, this is the last one. And then just like so, carried on. Someone came up with a fat tip, didn't they? Yeah, someone gave them like a 50 euro note, so they just like carried on playing because they were like such good vibes that everyone wanted them to stay. Oh, my camera's flashing red, so um, that's my cue to go to sleep and we will see you guys in the morning, but very successful first day in Sorrento. Bye guys. Morning guys just heading down for breakfast now. Let's see what they've got on offer. Hey guys. We nipped back to the room just to get a little bit ready for the day. And now we're just gonna go off and, it, oh, my flies are done. <laughs> now we're just gonna go off and explore. No, it's fine. It's just keeping it real. Hey, I kind of matched the decor in here, the blue. See you in a bit. It's a pretty stormy day today, but it hasn't touched wood rained yet. And I can actually see the sun poking through, so let's see. I mean, it said today it was gonna storm and then be full sun the rest of the week. 
Fingers crossed. Expectation versus reality. <laughs> like fried fish on the seafront it was really pretty i'm actually really hot walking around right now it's, it's like cloudy yeah. and it kind of spitted with rain before but it's actually really hot like humid and i kind of even want to go in the water like there's people swimming and stuff today on there yeah like it's not like cold or anything like that now we're just going for a little bit of a stroll and everywhere's just so pretty it's just so nice isn't it Josh about how when you look nice in real life but actually when you put on the camera what are you doing Just when, help you, you out. <laughs> when you put on the camera you look really ugly that's what I've got what oh are you posing me right okay I have to get in this specific pose else I look ugly apparently <laughs> we're just drinking some wine out of mugs Terry? I know it's been a while since it's, it's cheese um, it's been a while since we updated you. I think last last time thing I filmed was when we were at the lemon garden, which was really cute. But we wanted to sit like out in the bit, um, which I showed on camera, which like barely anyone was sitting out, which was really cute. But there was like loads of mosquitoes and loads of well, I don't know if they were, but something was biting us. And then you know when you start getting really paranoid, and then I felt like just itchy all over, and I was like, I just need to get out of it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't that nice, really, was it? The actual place was nice, but it the, was okay. The, bu the bugs There's nicer me places. There's nicer gardens. Yeah, to rent it. yeah, I agree. Sure. Anyway, so we just like literally had a little drink there and then um, walked back, and then we've been chilling and getting ready. And we're gonna go to a pizza place tonight called Pizzeria De Franco. It's pretty casual, and I'm pretty dressed up. Not gonna lie, but sure, whatever. We're gonna have a little bit more wine in our cups. This wine was actually three euros from the supermarket. It's actually quite nice. Uh, cheers. And then, yeah, and then head out.
good morning guys it is saturday our third third day yeah third day here i think i left you at the pizza restaurant last night we literally came home we came home with our spare pizza to like put it away and then we just ended up staying here we watched a film on netflix but i use the term watched very loosely because we fell asleep after about five minutes today we're up really early it's like it's like nine and we're all up and ready to go um we're gonna go have breakfast and then we're going to pompeii today let me tell you guys we were not being paranoid yesterday about those mosquitoes i've literally woken up with like 10 massive bites on my legs josh has some as well um but like i don't know if you can see i don't even think you can see but they are literally huge um and so itchy so that's not ideal <laughs> stay away from that lemon garden unless you have mosquito repellent on i don't know why because i swear mosquitoes are meant to not like lemons but anyway we move we're gonna head out in a second get some bracky and start the day guys what a morning we have had it's been a bit hectic hasn't it we got the train here and when i say it was like hell Sardines. that pretty much sums it up like i wanted to take a picture but i literally couldn't even move my arm really enough to take a picture like that is how packed the train was maybe coming here on a saturday wasn't the best idea but anyway we got here now and we queued up we had to queue up twice because we used to get my discounted ticket because you get discount if you're up to 24 years old but it was so worth it because my ticket was only two euros and it would have been like what like 18 yeah or 16 euros so um the age is to <laughs> he unfortunately had to get the uh, adult ticket because he's 25 now we didn't bother getting like an audio tour because we have this app on our phone which basically tells you what everything is and obviously it's free so Hello. bargain hunters we are we've done that so yeah you ready to uh See some ruins. Hey guys, my hair is looking absolutely crazy right now. Oh god, I just look mad. It has been so windy today. I don't know if you can like hear it windy right now. But yeah, I didn't really film that much like anything talking to the camera when we we're in Pompeii because like we just did so much walking, didn't we? We walked a lot. It was pretty hot. I'd also like it was really hard to film because one thing I will recommend to you guys if you go to Pompeii, I don't know if it's just the weather today or if it's always like that, but just don't wear a short dress or like a floaty dress because my god, I literally had I had no hands free because I had to hold my dress down like 100% of the time when I was walking around. It was either that or flash literally everyone in sight. So um, I recommend wearing shorts or trousers or something like that if you go to Pompeii. But yeah, it was pretty cool walking around. It's definitely like quite tiring. Another not so good thing is that my bites have literally evolved. Let's do a bite check right now. It sounds really stupid, but like, I was just really stressing about them today and to the point where I was like a bit upset about it because I was, I know it's like really stupid, but I was like so conscious of them the whole day, like conscious of people like looking at them and being like, what the hell is on her legs? Cause like they're all up my legs. Just keeping it real for you guys here. So yeah, we've literally just got back. Train was just as busy on the way home. I felt like it took just as long or longer actually. Um, we had to stand up the whole way again. So yeah, I'm just gonna have chill for a minute because i feel like we haven't chilled at all and then probably get ready for dinner good evening guys we are finally ready i feel like i'm looking a lot less disheveled than i looked earlier washed my hair done my makeup got ready to go out went and got some antihistamine tablets because the cream was just not cutting it so i've had one of these praying to god that my legs are going to return to a 
normal state at some point but in the meantime this is what i'm wearing tonight thankfully i brought quite a few long dresses with me i'm wearing my classic orange dress which i got from zara like last year and it just has like a low back a little slit at the back and i've just got these little primark yellow heels on and yeah, I feel so much better like wearing something long and I absolutely love this dress. I feel like it's such a good holiday one. I'm gonna leave now and see you guys in a bit.